Hey, you doing YouTube? It's Will from Will Development. It's my 337th weekly update. So this week started very funny and ended... <clears throat> yeah, it ended fine, honestly. I ended up having to work over the weekend uh, this weekend, which really threw a lot of my schedule off. I had planned to go in on Saturday after I'd worked Friday night. <clears throat> That just didn't happen. It wasn't going to happen. I, I, I had higher hopes for myself, and part of me is glad I didn't, but uh, still, it did throw off a lot of my schedules. So from Monday moving forward, it's been just trying to catch up on like sleep and things like that. I did things pretty well. Um, when I, I got off work at 6 a.m. on Sunday morning, and I said the only way this is going to work is if I just stay up until you know, bedtime on Friday, somewhere around 9, 10 o'clock. And I did end up doing that. I was up for like 20... <sighs> See, I got up at 4 to go in. So, it's 24. 28, almost 30 hours, I was up 4. And uh, that kind of abuse definitely will catch up to you, and it, it, uh, it definitely did this week. Um... Starting out Monday was rough. Tuesday was better. Wednesday was rough again for me. It was just this peak and valley in the reality as I probably should have just taken either Monday or even Tuesday off and then just finished the week that way just to sort of recover from that, that sort of 12, those 12 hour shifts. Uh, normally, if, if or I should say, if that was like my regular schedule, I would be fine, and it, it wouldn't really affect me, I would adjust, but because it was just two days like that, just kind of like one-offs sort of things, it uh, it really caught me by surprise how much it, it caught up with me eventually, you know, I thought, oh, I'll just get good night's sleep, good night's sleep, and I'll be fine, it, it didn't really work out that way, so, all that being said, Monday was okay, uh, squats went okay, um, they weren't great, couldn't even touch... Uh, 315 this week had some flare-ups of some some back twin twinges uh, call it uncomfortability wasn't necessarily pain but it was just definitely like alright this is not working well things are not staying as tight as they need to um, let's just dial it back deadlifts went well though I, I you know ended up pulling a bunch of singles at 425 and uh, those felt pretty good so uh, I, I can sort of live with the squats since I'm, I'm not being tested on that in three weeks. God, I think it's two weeks now. <clears throat> but uh, I got I got about a week and a half to um, sort of get a little more prepared for Miami's, put, put more weight on my back with uh, with the yoke and, and the farmers and that sort of thing and, and make sure I can pull at least a four... 65 deadlift because they're going up by 30 pounds on each each attempt so 405 435 and then 465 which I have pulled 475 so hopefully I'll be able to pull at least 465 <clears throat> I may jump in at uh, 435 and then uh, and then pull the 465 too and then just go for a I guess a 495 and <laughs> hopefully I can do it day of we'll see we'll see how things go I'm not going to make any sort of plans on that I just won't see her at the event. Assuming I pull a 435. Whew, it'd be bad if I didn't get that. I'll be able to get that, I'm sure. Uh, let's see. Pressing went pretty good, though. Um, ended up doing a single... Single at 200. <clears throat> I'm not that upset about not being higher on the pressing. Um, being consistently near that 200 number makes me feel better. I know this time last year, I was happy to be consistently around the 180s. So, in in... In that regard, I've put on 15 pounds on that lift. And although in a year, that's really not a lot if I can do that every single year, you know, in not so much time, you know, three years, that's, that's 45 extra pounds, which if I'm consistently putting up 245, that puts my peak somewhere around, somewhere higher than that. So I can live with that. Uh, but I ended up doing some, uh, some extra work, uh, just some two sets of four, at uh, 185, <clears throat> which was good. That was that was good to do afterward. I, I definitely felt that. 
And then yesterday, squats went better. Um, worked up to a set of four with uh, 245. And when I say it went better, not necessarily by weight, but just everything felt really good. Um, so it felt good <clears throat> to be able to do that without any pain or, or discomfort. Um, things stayed tight where they needed to stay tight. So that felt good. Um, and then did some back offsets of 220, just three sets of five there. And, and <laughs> honestly felt that quite a bit. And then did, did some deadlifting, just kept a little bit lighter, uh, actually under 400 for a touch of rep work just to prep my body for next week where I will be going basically heavy uh, both days next week. And then didn't mean to do it, but uh, I actually ended up taking today off from training. Uh, it didn't intend for it to happen. I got caught up chit-chatting with somebody and then all of a sudden it was 7.15 and I was like, you know what, honestly, my body feels terrible. My grip is just awful. Uh, grip's a pretty good indicator of recovery, and my grip was like to the point where grabbing a pull-up bar was like, wow, this is hard with just my body weight. And I've been consistently doing pull-ups lately with 90 pounds hanging off of me, so when just my body weight alone is heavy, that's not good. So I said, you know what? Fine. Take the L for today. Come back in tomorrow. Wake up nice and early. Actually eat before training on a Saturday. Get in there and have a good session. Uh, make up for what you were supposed to do today, and then some. So that's my plan for tomorrow, and uh, that's been my week. It, I, I knew this week would be weird, and I knew it would be off, and I knew things would be not so great, and, th and that's fine. Uh, having one of those weeks, I don't like having one of those weeks as close to a comp, but, you know, some sometimes these things happen, and in my mind, it's a good thing. It'll end up making it so next week's really good, <clears throat> and then I'll have a bit of a recovery week, and then going into the comp, I'll be well rested. How do I feel about this particular comp? There's definitely going to be an event zero, at least one at this competition. It's much heavier than my previous two competitions, and honestly, that's fine. It's just something to work towards, and I don't mind that. I think if there's a comp that you're going to zero an event, I think you should still definitely do it. Because being afraid of something and not facing it is worse than being afraid facing it and failing. So if you're afraid to do it, then what's your excuse?